G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. It's time to continue our series on learning how to play Twilight. Now in this video, I wanna keep this one nice and quick and short really. We're just gonna go through here in the rule book what we need to play. And I'll show you some of the things that we use in this game that makes it a bit different from other games. Um, obviously the first thing you need is the beautiful, beautiful rule book. And if you haven't seen my video where I was talking about uh, this book, it's the previous one, I'll link it in the description below. Um, but you're gonna need this, it's gonna give you all the stats of the, um, of the, of the characters in the game, obviously the rules, and then the, you know, all of their stats, their abilities, um, the explanation of the abilities, history, law, all that sort of stuff. So you'll need a copy of the rule book, obviously. It is a miniature game, so we're gonna need a, a tape measure and a handful of six-sided dice. Now, you don't need a lot. The game only needs a few, predominantly used for when you're doing, uh, you know, tough saves, uh, or, you know, a saving throw. It's called a tough, uh, a tough roll or a tough save or, you know, a saving throw. Um, so tape measure, a couple of uh, six-sided dice, um, you're going to need uh, these specific combat stones. Now the combat stones are what are used in the game to replace dice when you're fighting against other, um, uh, other figures in the game. There are two different, uh, each player needs uh, their own set of tokens, so you can see I've got two different colours here. Um, they are, uh, for all intents and purposes, exactly the same. You know, I've just coloured them, painted them to, you know, to help them stand out. Um, each player gets 12 tokens, six attack tokens, and six defense tokens. And when you play a round of combat, players get to choose whether they want to use more attack you know, combat stones or more defensive combat stones to you know, alter what you really need to do at that specific point in the game. So you're gonna need uh, these. Uh, they're available from the World of Twilight website, which is uh, worldoftwilight.com forward slash shop. I'll link all of the descriptions, all of the URLs in the uh, description below. You'll also need a set of uh, activation tokens. Again, there's a set uh, for each player. A set consists of six tokens. It doesn't matter how many figures you have in your warband or your force, each player is gonna have six activation tokens. So again, I've painted them to you know, match the combat stones. Um, so six for each player. You'll also need two other activation tokens. These are actually combat activations. They are used uh, to you know, um, instigate or uh, a round of uh, a round of combat. So you need two of those. These are resin tokens, uh, and I've painted them up you know, to match those. You'd also need a dice bag, or you know, some sort of cup, or some sort of container, or something into which you can pop all of these activation tokens. And then during the game, players will draw out the activation tokens from the bag to determine who goes. Um, that's why I've painted them in two different colors so the players know which one belongs to them. And you, know, you shuffle this up and draw a token out and you know the yellow player gets to go now. And then we draw another one and pull it out and you know the black uh, player gets to go. You know, the next one, oh, the yellow player, etc., etc., etc. We'll go through the mechanics of how all of that works later on. If you want to, you can also buy, let's clear some of this stuff out of the way. You can buy also from the World Twilight website, stat cards. Um, so I've got loads of different decks for the stat cards. I've obviously got the figures for uh, my main faction, which are um, the Aurel clan. Uh, on the table here, I've got some Divanu cards. We'll see those very, very shortly because we're gonna need some miniatures. Um, but you can buy different decks of cards. You get a, here was a deck of cards for the Kasani um, and expansion deck number two, expansion deck number one, and um, the main Chronicles of Anurile. This is the one that m m matches all of the figures here in the rule book. Um, so you don't need to buy all of these if you don't want them. It, I just love the game and I've bought so many figures that uh, you know I bought all the cards as well. You don't need them. You can just use the rule book. There is a handy little uh, reference sheet here which lists out um, all of the abilities and its description of what it does. There is a more updated copy of this on the Facebook group. Again, that's linked in the description below because this uh, card that I've got here is slightly now out of date as uh, Mike's added more and more factions and figures to the game and introduced some new abilities. Those obviously don't appear here on this card. So there's an updated list, excuse me, or an updated um, you know, QRF on the Facebook group. So that's an optional choice is the stat cards. Now, obviously we're gonna need some miniatures. Now, I've got my Aurel here. So the um, world of Anurel is split up into different areas and the predominant group uh, of inhabitants are Fubani. They uh, occupy most of the landmass and they're split into different uh, regions. Um, and uh, one of the regions that I really uh, like um, is Aurel. 
So that's what I've got over here. Um, I've got some militia here. I've got the Lord of Arel on his big Grokukan um, and a, a unit of uh, knights. The style of these figures may not be for everyone's taste, but it's certainly right up my alley. Um, you know, I spoke about the Dark Crystal. I mentioned how the game, you know, reminds me of the Dark Crystal in my review of the rule book. And, you know, I just see that when I look at these figures. Um, and I've got a couple of the little Grakus here. Um, and uh, so that's, they're, they're, these are my uh, Aurel. I probably wouldn't need all of these in a game. Um, I've never used all of them in a single game, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna get more of them. I need more of them. So they're uh, my Aurel. And I've also got over here, sadly unpainted, well, not completed anyway, is my Divanu. So, as I mentioned, Anyural is split up into different areas. Um, in the beginning, if we go back several generations, the Devanu were the pro pre predominant prominent race, and they had enslaved the Fubani. Um, and then, you know, the first book, it's called From Slaves to Emperors. Um, the Fubani had an uprising over through the Devanu and you know, pushed them out to the very edges of Anyural, and you know, they're there now basically causing a nuisance. Um, anyway, so the Devanu are, are great big monstrous creatures, very reminiscent of uh, small dinosaurs or lizards or velociraptors or, um, and as you can see, sadly unpainted, um, but wonderful, wonderful figures. Now, these guys are very much your elite force. You don't need a huge numbers of them. Their points costs are much higher than everything else. They're obviously a lot stronger. They've got some really crazy abilities and we'll see those as we start getting into the game. So you're gonna need some figures and hopefully you paint them because they're great fun to paint. You know, some figures just seem to paint themselves. You know, some figures are really laborious and take ages and just not enjoyable, but these ones just paint themselves. Um, much like the figures from, uh, is it Barrows to Budges or uh, <laughs> Barrows to Budges? Um, badges and Burrows or Burrows and Badges, I can't remember, by Michael Lovegood. Lovejoy? Yeah, God, what are you doing, Vib? You should have made some notes, man. Um, those figures were great fun to paint. These ones are also great fun to paint. So that's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need some figures. We're gonna need a rule book, maybe a little quick reference sheet or some stack cards if you want them. We're gonna need a tape measure. We're gonna need a handful of dice. We're gonna need our combat stones and our activation tokens. And that's pretty much it. Oh yes, and our bag to put the activation tokens in. That's what we're gonna need to play Twilight. In the next couple of videos, we'll start going through how the game actually plays. Um, and, and you know, as I said in my rule book review, I've only ever played the game against myself. I'm certainly not a master, there's gonna be things I'm gonna get wrong, and I know that the guys from the Twilight community will jump up and say, hey Viv, you know, this, 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 etc. So, you know, hopefully in this COVID-19 world that we're living in, you know, I, you know, I can learn more about the game while I'm stuck here at home, you know, I'm, uh, I've got my hat on as I always do, I'm casual at the top, and you know, I've got my trackies on at the bottom here. So, proper COVID-19, um, and so hopefully I can share this with people and people can share their experiences we, with me as we move forward. Um, there we go, hopefully it won't be too long. It's been a little bit you know, delayed between uh, you know, my review of the rule book and starting to get more things done. Hopefully you know, the next video will be out in a couple of days. I'm too excited, I just wanna start doing more. Um, I'll catch you soon guys, thanks for tuning in. See ya.